are starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. now Prescott oh he's got him in wide open complete a huge play there right off the bat 49 yards and the offense is saying to itself right now if only they were all this easy because he was wide open and once he made the catch plenty of room to work his way downfield that was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball one that they want to fix immediately so now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Prescott. Incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Second and ten. Play action. Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. with Pollard and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three they're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal a stop there on third they could have held him to three on this opening drive now they have to bow their necks on first and goal and if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view that's a big time pickup right there and I'd go right at him with another momentum play I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down Pollard will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And this is up and good to make it 7 0 Cowboys. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. First and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 22. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And a short pickup to about the 25. You look at this Cowboy defense. 
Now they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. And all defensive teams that I know talk about creating turnovers. Takeaways, they call them. And anytime you can get two or more in a game, you've had a really, really good performance. They exceeded that number in a big one. seven. Gets this out quickly to Dodson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards there on a Washington first. Let's see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given. Throw across his body and it's intercepted. Marcus Jones picks it, and he's able to 43-yard line. Parker, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Complete and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well. Touchdown! Michael Gallup. His first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. Now a second and ten. him in the middle of the field if you're going to lose a receiver make sure it's someone on the short side of things not deep downfield that can hurt your defense and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. And every defensive team that we talk to, 
They spend a lot of time talking about creating turnovers. And anytime you get two or more in a game, you've had a really good performance. They exceeded that number in a huge way. They got the football back four times in the win. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. A great effort there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders are back within a score. A pretty well executed run. They were telling us yesterday, Charles, they were hoping to get everybody in sync. The line, the backs, and everybody looked in sync on that play. They were in sync, and the field tilted. And that's where we get the term running downhill because when you've got that kind of momentum and everyone's doing it properly, as you just described, it does feel like they are coming from downhill to you as a defender, and that is really hard to stop. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make our score 14-7. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, Try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Throwing. Prescott. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Here now, third and a yard. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So pass interference, the call, that's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. Pollard going to try the right side. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. You talk about this Washington defense. They were quite formidable in the win over the Eagles a week ago. They forced seven turnovers. How many? Seven. Seven. I mean, think about seven. that number now. That's supposed to be a lucky number, right? <laughs> lucky for one side, unlucky for the other. Looking to throw. Prescott. His throw incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. To throw is Prescott. Short pass taken in by Schoonmaker. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Feeling like 
They're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. Now Prescott. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. And he'll get it by plenty. A gain of eight on fourth and one. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play. And the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. So they convert on fourth, and now from just outside the 30, here's first and 10. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down and six now from the 26. Off the play fake, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And he is out of bounds, but... Inside the 10 to the 7. He has now hit number 500. Charles had his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays, in today's football, 500 puts you on the path. A significant number. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. They'll run with Pollard. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. As long as you've been the air attack, that's gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pick up there on first and goal. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Pollard again. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And that will get out of bounds. Lucky there. They keep possession inside the five. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one. And the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. So crisis averted, but now facing third and goal. Now here's Pollard. And he'll get in! Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and it's now 21 to 7. Cameron Dicker to kick off. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rest off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Off play action, it's Hal. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Some of the fans here don't we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Now how? Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 33. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. First down, how to throw. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and three. It's Howe with another throw. That's complete to Chandler on the check down. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Now Chandler. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. Second down, Hal now. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked off by Damone Clark. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him off already in this opening half. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty. That might be P.I. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. 
and trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. Prescott. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Now that's often to something they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Second and goal from inside the five. Running right, it's Pollard. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Cowboys take a three-touchdown lead. This is becoming quite the half he's had here. Remember in our pregame meetings, they talked about wanting to run the football and staying with it. Well, when you're scoring this many touchdowns, there's no reason to go away from it, is there? They are off to a fantastic start. They hope it continues. Three already.